Well, outspoken Tasmanian Senator Jackie Lambie has weighed in on the March 23 state election. During an interview with Sky News reporter Lauren Evans, Ms Lambie accused Premier Jeremy Rockcliffe of heading down the wrong path and claims the AFL dream can go ahead without a stadium. One way or the other, Jackie Lambie is determined to shake up Tasmanian politics. Tasmanians have a choice, Saturday week. They can either continue to vote for the same crap they've, they've had in there for years and years and years, or you can give the Jackie Lambie network your vote. The number of elected representatives has increased to 35, with the Jackie Lambie network confident it can secure seats in four divisions, Bass, Braddon, Franklin and Lyons, meaning neither major party is likely to secure a majority. We're not going to be obstructionists, and I've made that quite clear on the performance of the Jackie Lambie network on the federal scale. We're not obstructionists, we go in there, we look at the bills, we contribute to those bills and we make them better. That is what we do and that's how it should be done. We are grown-ups, we're not two-year-olds in a playground. I don't think the Premier is coming back at all at this stage when he continues to go after independents and micro-parties. Uh, that is real stupid political tactics for the people that you may need. You may need my people or other independents out there to help you form government and you're attacking us? Watch it, mate. You notice Labor's not doing that? Uh, hello, stupidity at its best with Jeremy Rockcliffe. Being a Tasmanian yourself, where do you stand now on this AFL stadium project? We know that the AFL has said no stadium, no team. You'd still get a team um, for Tasmania without the stadium. I have no doubts about that because we need to see how much money we actually can afford to spend. Is it worth upgrading the one in Launceston? And if half of Tasmania can't afford to drive all the way to Hobart to watch the football, how is that fair? But what I do know with Tasmanians is that they are screaming for a proper health care. They are screaming for our kids to go to year 11 and 12. As for the sensitive debate over salmon farming in Macquarie Harbour, Ms Lambie says she's not prepared to let the environment suffer. We believe those pens are overstocked and we need to go in there and have a look at them. We want to talk about other ways of doing salmon farming as well, whether that's on land, whatever else. But seriously, it is absolutely chopped down there in Macquarie Harbour. Do you support the jobs or do you think that the industry needs to be scaled back? To continue to put those ton tons up in, the, in, in Macquarie Harbour just to keep the salmon people happy. I'm sorry, I'm not prepared to do that um, for the environment in Tasmania. With just over a week until Tasmanians head to the polls, the Lambie Network Party is expected to field 12 candidates statewide and with the crossbenchers already holding a quarter of the seats in Parliament, both the Liberal government and Labor opposition are set to be tested like never before. Lauren Evans, Sky News, Tasmania. And don't miss the final leaders debate of the Tasmanian election. Jeremy Rockcliffe and Rebecca White face off in front of undecided voters at the Sky News Mercury People's Forum at 4pm Wednesday.